What's going on everybody? We are back in the D3 playing with Slope Assist, which is for those of you who aren't familiar, that is Caterpillar's 2D machine control. I'm not gonna get into what the difference between 2D and 3D is on this video. Go, There's videos everywhere. I'm gonna put one out on the difference. Go watch that. In the meantime, here's where we at. We're gonna do main fall slopes today. And then we're also gonna talk about uh, transitioning slopes in the middle of doing a carry. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn off my cross slope because we don't care about cross slope. We're only wanting to do main fall. And you know what? I'm gonna take my camera off here. Give me a second. There we go. Now you guys can see what I'm doing. So we turned off cross slope and we're only dealing with main fall. Uh, one of the things I wanna do right now is let me make sure I've got some speed here. Let me make sure I'm in gear so I don't get yelled at by the machine. I'm going to turn my autos on and I'm then going to increment and decrement. And the reason I'm doing that is because I wanna see what that number is. And sure enough, I wanna change that. Um, you know what? I'm not going to change it. We're going to just roll with it. So what I've got set right now, as you just saw, is I've got it set to 0%, which means that the machine is going to carry a flat slope. I am not currently sitting on a flat slope. I'm sitting at roughly a 4% downhill slope. That's the nice thing about these machines. Even if you don't have the, the 2D system fully automated to where you've got automatics, we can at least see our slope. And we just do that by setting our blade down here on the grade. So I'm at 4.2, but as was the same on your uh, cross slope, as soon as I hit my autos, since I have main fall engaged, it's going to take my blade up to where I'm gonna make a level pass going forward. So. What we can do is we can either put in our arbitrary slope, we can decrement and increment to wherever we want it to be, or similar to the cross slope, let's say I wanna pick up and carry this slope that I've already got going. So I'm gonna set my blade down, it's 4.2. I'm gonna hit that button right there. That's gonna bench it so that it's now 4.2 on my autos. So when I engage my autos, nothing happens because the blade's exactly where it needs to be. I told it to be at this point. So if we just drive forward, the machine's automatically gonna carry 4.2% downhill. Now it's not doing cross slope. I'm still responsible for the cross slope, but it's gonna carry a 4.2% slope down. So this is where we start to get over, and you can do this with cross slope. I didn't cover it in the cross slope video because I wanted to get a little more complicated in this video. Um, so what we're gonna do now is as we're driving forward, we wanna bring this up out of the ground, right? Well, the nice thing is, is you can start incrementing or decrementing as you're dozing and the dozer's going to compensate. And so as we're going along, I can slowly bring it to level or let's say I wanna go uphill because we wanna kinda of make this come uphill, right? And so now we're gonna transition and we're in a 3.6% uphill slope. And so this is how you can start getting into some more complicated slopes and shaping with machine control, or we could just go back to freehanding. It's totally up to you. The nice thing about using the increment and decrement as we're going here is I can do those nice transitions and I can already be set up and I'm not gonna do it because I'm up against the woods here, but let's say I wanted to come out of this at a 1% or not even 1%. Let's say I wanted to come out of this level. The nice thing is on, about on the fly is I can increment and decrement to where I end up at a 0% slope and we're gonna push out flat and level. Versus if I was freehanding, that means, you know, as I'm coming out, let's do another pass here. And I'm gonna apologize again. It's really difficult to record this screen, what's going on in the front of the machine and my hands all at the same time with these newer machines. So let's pretend we're doing our forward push again. We had our autos on. I'm not gonna engage them because we don't have the right slope set. You know what, I will, I will engage them. So 4.2% 4, down, we get here towards the end of our push, right? Now we wanna start bringing it up, but I'm gonna freehand it this time. So we're gonna freehand it. We're gonna make it look all nice and pretty as we come up over. But remember, this is where I wanted to roll out at a 0% slope. So the way we could do that, about the easiest way to do that is we're gonna have to stop when we're at 2% here. We're gonna have to hit our button. We're gonna have to engage our autos and then I'm gonna have to adjust that up or down with my autos on the fly. And then we can get back to pushing and we're gonna push out nice and level. 
As you can see, that's not quite as efficient as it was the first time where I'm actively changing the grade with my buttons here so that I'm already rolling out at a 0% slope as we crest that hill because that's how I'm controlling my grade. So it's just a little more efficient to do it that way. So now we're gonna set up and we're gonna do, well, I take that back. We're not gonna set up and do that again. We're gonna do another push just to kind of show you guys again how we can do that on the fly. And I'm actually gonna throw the camera up in the front so you guys can watch the blade. You just won't be able to see the screen as well. Okay, so we're back. We've got the camera up where you can watch the blade and you guys can see my fingers here. You're just not, not gonna have the greatest uh, view of the screen here. But what I've got is we wanna just carry the grade we're continuing to carry. So I'm gonna set my blade down. This is a 3.6 downhill, so I'm gonna benchmark so that we have that number for our autos. I'm gonna engage my autos. And then we're just gonna drive forward. And I'm worried about my cross slope. That's what I'm gonna be adjusting, but I'm not worried about my downhill. Where I am gonna to start to worry is as we come out of this, I've gotta be active on my increment and decrement. So I'm gonna to wanna to come out of the hole. So I'm gonna start clicking. And as you can see, it's gonna raise my blade up. And we're gonna change over. We're up to a positive 1.7. There's two, that's 2%. 2 there's 3% coming up. There we go, there's 3.1. And now what I wanna do is I wanna start coming back level, remember? Cause we wanna start pushing out of that hole at level. Right there is, oh, I'm sorry, I went too far. So right there, we're at 0.1%. And I already had it going on because I was doing the increments and decrements as I was rolling. Now at the beginning of this video, I said I was gonna go in the menu and change my increment and decrement. That's why is because when you're, if you're going to grade with machine control like this, where you're actively using your increment and decrement uh, as you're moving the machine, you're probably gonna want something more than 0.2%, which is what I'm currently set up as, is 0.2% decrements and increments. Uh, it might be more like a half a percent. The downside to that is you're gonna get that blade moving a lot more on you, so you're probably gonna have to track a little bit faster to make those transitions smoother, but the advantage is the machine's gonna keep up with you a little better so that you're not having to doze so slow. Now, that being said, as slow as that was, let's get some gas here, as slow as that was, let's look at the grade we just put down. So we've got a really nice grade. We don't have a bunch of steps and choppiness to it, even though I was incrementing my values as we were dozing forward. That puts down a really nice grade, and that is, I mean, a rookie could have done that. All I was doing is pushing buttons as I went along. I wasn't even messing with the cross slope on that one. And so that's the nice thing for rookies getting in the seat is once you kind of get them familiar with the controls, to an extent, they don't have to worry about having the finesse on the blade. This allows them to do some pretty rough grading. And again, this is not super rough. That's pretty dang close to being a finished grade up there. I could have done that as a rookie after 20 minutes in the seat getting familiar with these buttons. But to an advanced dozer operator, now I can do some really interesting things in real time to really make some nice transitions between my grades. And again, I don't have to use the increment and decrement to do that. Once we get to the end there, if I'm gonna roll out, a lot of times I'm just gonna freehand that as an experienced dozer operator, unless I want that 0% slope. And again, the way I would personally do that, once I got good at this, and you guys are gonna have to bear with me. I've had maybe two hours in this dozer so far, and I'm just starting to play around with this stuff. And so we'll go back to our grade right here. We'll set up, I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put my slope in. We're gonna zero it out, engage my autos. Here we go. I'm gonna push along because I wanna carry that 5.1%. Whoop, there's a little jump because of the clay. All right, and so right about here is where we're gonna start to transition. So I'm gonna click my autos off. I'm gonna start to come out of it. And we're gonna follow our ridge that we've already got going here. Now what I'm doing is I'm watching this number at the top. And for you guys that can't see the screen so well, I'm watching the active percentage of the blade, not what I had my grade set to, watching the active percentage of the grade because I wanted to come out of this level. And so right about there, I'm pretty much level. I'm gonna re-bench, I'm gonna activate my autos, and away we go. And now I'm at 0.9, I overshot a little bit, but that's okay because I've got my increment and decrement that on the fly, I can change that, boom. That's all there is to it. There's my pass, done, go back for another. 
So that's two separate ways that you can start doing some of these more complex slopes, uh, just depending on how you want to operate the machine and what your skill level is. And it's one of those things too that once you get some seat time in this, you can very quickly jump between these and incrementing and decrementing, and you can do some very complex slope work with not a tremendous amount of skill on the, on the hand here. Or as an experienced operator, that took a ton of my workload off of me. I'm not gonna be exhausted at the end of the day from concentrating so hard on trying to keep a nice slope. The machine's assisting with a lot of that. So that's all I've got for today's video. If you guys have any questions, shoot them down below and we'll catch you guys on the next Down and Dirty.